Hola tickers, so I put this wee thing up on my, it's like a post I put up on my Instagram stories and it's basically, um, it's called Dunkey's Daily Dose and it's like inspirational words with a bit of music. Point is, is that people always write to me on my Instagram, they DM me and say thanks Dunkey for that, that made my day, that's spot on, that's something I've been going through, you hit the nail on the head and then they kind of tell me a wee bit about themselves and always try and reply. The thing is that I always get is that obviously for me reading a lot of people's DMs is people are really going through a lot of stuff. So people are always asking, Dunkey, how do you get so confident, how do you get so... Um, where do you get your energy from? Why are you the way you are? You know, it's it's a fucking mindset. It really, really is. Um, you know, I suffer from obsession, addiction, procrastination, pride, ego, overthinking, anxiety. But really, should we label it as suffering? Do I look like somebody who's suffering? I don't feel like somebody that's suffering. I don't live like somebody that's suffering. I don't project to it that somebody that's suffering because I'm no fucking suffering. These are just qualities that I call traits and characters that we've got within us. And probably a lot of us have got all the similar things within us, whether it's depression, whether it's, I mean, there's all sorts of words that are flying out these days that like personality disorders, disorder this, disorder that. You know, I think we've all got a wee bit of everything inside of us. And I don't think anybody should be judging on anybody else of what we think somebody else has got that might be a flaw or something negative. Um, I embrace who I am, all the good and all the bad, um, because I know who I am today. And I don't think you can go anywhere or get to know anyone until you get to know yourself. It's like the old saying of, you can't love someone until you love yourself. And I truly believe that. And the reason I'm bringing that up today and telling you about all these, oh, I suffer from anxiety and procrastination is because I fucking do. And, I, and I'm absolutely proud of it because it's a mindset, you know, when I know I'm procrastinating, because I know I'm doing it, I'm mindful of it. I'll stop doing it. Some days through the week, I'll let it slide because it's part of who I am. But in order to know it's part of who I am, I have to know it's there so I can be mindful of it before it becomes, grows and grows and becomes fucking five days later and I still haven't found the dentist, you know? It, I mean, and I'm not embarrassed of this and I thought I'd be honest about it because I think people f follow me through being relatable. As you know, Doug, he was on a dating site, I was on a dating site. Doug, he was drinking the park while I was drinking the park. Doug, he's mental and she danced their clothes. I'd like to dance my clothes and it's inside of me to do that. You know, it's just been free and being real and being who the fuck you are. And uh, I don't give a fuck how much hate I would get for this because all I know is it's going to... Um, affects somebody in the right way so I don't give a fuck for the wrong ways because I call bullies and trolls and we all know how I feel about them so thanks for listening, ciao ciao